Right, Keith, a nice day out there today, but I was at the nice. dentist this morning yes. and the woman who was cleaning my teeth was saying yeah. that she has Fridays off and she cannot catch a break with yes. her kids in this Same. rain. Same, my, my wife has Fridays off too and um, that's how I remember how bad they've been. Because because last year they were jamming, her and Luca at the beach every Friday, summer Fridays. Yeah. This has been like, okay, yeah, it's brutal. can we go to like that jump place again? You know, with the, the, <laughs> what is yeah. that, Get Air or whatever it's called? All right, let's look at the visible satellite. Nice now, as Zach alluded to, where that's where we're going on Friday is some showers. We'll talk about how we get there in just a minute. Our temps today were pretty nice. We got to 77 in Portland, 79 in West Cassett, 79 in Sanford. No official 80s in Portland. Portsmouth, New Hampshire came in with 80 flat. But our dew points were low, so even if we pushed into the low 80s, I think today would have been a really comfortable day because there's really not much humidity in the air mass, especially up towards Greenville and Caribou and Millinocket at about 40 for a dew point there. So overnight tonight, the low dew points, the clear skies, all of that comes together and allows temperatures to fall pretty quickly. I think for most people, it's in a comfortable way. Just be aware if you're a windows open sleeper in the mountains, northern New Hampshire, we may briefly dip into the upper 30s tomorrow morning. That would be 5, 6 in the morning. But the sun brings us right back into the low 70s by tomorrow afternoon. You can see very little cloud cover initialized here by this model, and that seems to make sense. Not a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, so probably not that many clouds. And then tomorrow night's not quite as cool, and Thursday's a good-looking day. Um, clouds come in in the afternoon, southwest and northeast. Isolated sprinkle Thursday afternoon. By and large, though, I think a pleasant day on Thursday before showers come in Thursday night and into the day on Friday. And as we began with, yes, it looks rainy on Friday. From showers to rain and downpours by the afternoon. Could see an inch or so of rain in a couple of spots. The question after that is, does this front move out for the weekend or does it hang around? And the models, if anything, have gotten farther apart on this, which is not my favorite. The European model has a front out here and then we've got a trailing trough, so showers possible Saturday and Sunday. The GFS, more progressive, shower Saturday morning, looking good after that through the whole weekend. I've leaned a little bit more towards the drier solution, but I'm unable to completely discount the chance of showers on Sunday because the European model has been so consistent with this uh, look on it. So hopefully we can get a little bit better clarity by tomorrow morning. A couple of things going on in the tropics. Gert, that's gonna die out, so it won't matter. Harold already made landfall. Franklin, interesting. Gonna meander up here over the next few days, get caught and move towards the eastern seaboard. Because we've got a trough in place here, I would say it's pretty unlikely that we're gonna have a hit from Franklin, but it might get close enough to make things interesting as far as surf and seas go, so we'll keep an eye on that. Showers to rain on Friday, pop-up showers on Saturday, a uh, stray shower on Sunday. Again, I, I hope I can remove that Sunday shower. I just don't want you to see dry and then we have to change it, because that, that's, you don't want that on the weekend. <laughs> we already try to plan things. Uh, but it is crazy how the Fridays, uh, I did the math yesterday, in counting this Friday, which I'm going to, because it's gonna rain, uh, it was 70% of since June, the Fridays, 70% of the Fridays have rained. Yikes, I know you love a pattern, but we don't love that pattern. No, yeah, <laughs> it, it is, it's just strange how they keep, it just keeps lining up that way. Hopefully we can save the weekend this time. Hopefully, thanks.